can be unkind But you're not always understanding I like to take my time But time is what you're always chasing I know I like to hide But you're not always keen on seeking You said you're up for the fight But I Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, it is, is a unboxing of the Louis Vuitton agenda. So there was a huge hype over getting hold of this agenda, but I literally went in on a weekend, first thing in the morning before everybody else, and just got my hands on it. I really was just trying my luck, and I thought if it's there, it's there. If it's not, I'll try again a month or two later. So there wasn't a real urgency, but I just thought let me just see and try my luck. So the actual agenda size was one that I'd been mulling over for a few months and I ended up deciding to get the larger one only because I wanted to put it in my put it on my desk and use it for my um, social media stuff and as you can tell it is absolutely stunning and it had to be the canvas that I wanted so this is the monogram canvas the cross grain leather lining it's got a uh, press stud closures it's got six ring binders separated into two groups of three. It's got card slots on the side, on the front and the back. Um, and you get uh, agenda refills that are available too from Louis Vuitton stores. Um, I didn't specifically get that because I tend to find that their lining is, the lines on their um, agenda refills are really, really small. And the size on this one is about 18.5 centimetres by 23 by three centimeters. And if you wanted those in inches, it's 7.1 by 8.7 inches. I'll, I'll put all of that down in the description box. But I do find that the slots on the back of the diary are really, really spacious. So you can put in extra little notepads if you wanted to. The gold on here is pretty shiny. I just thought it'd be a bit of a matte gold, but it is quite shiny. But to be honest, you don't really see that when you're filling up the diary. And I had to get this personalised with my initials. I do that with all my diaries. Um, I was thinking of the year, but then I thought, no, not really. I just want to put my initials on there. And again, in store, it didn't take long at all, maybe about 15 minutes. So in store, you've got three options. You have a large, a medium or small. And they're always in gold. I just checked it against the diary. And I felt like the medium one suited it better. Uh, the larger one was a little bit too large for me, hence the reason for the medium size. I've had stamping done on my previous diaries and they are very good quality. I've had my diary for over 10 years and it hasn't scratched away or faded at all. 
And overall, I'm actually really happy with the size. It's the perfect size for me, but I would suggest that you definitely think about the size that would fit for you. This isn't something that you would put in your handbag on a daily you know, commute to work. It's really for your desk and working from home, which is what's good for me. Um, another thing to remember is the the larger agenda allows you to write in, in it a bit more comfortably because there's more space. Um, the pockets allow you to fit a lot more into the agenda. There's a lot more room. And you could consider if you wanted to purchase pre-loved or a brand new one. But personally, I think when you're purchasing something pre-loved, it's more or less or more than the actual um, price of buying in store. So for me, when it comes to something like this, because I know I'm going to treasure it forever, I'd rather just have it new. But if you're one of those people that really want your hand on something and you do not want to wait um, then it could be an option for you to get it pre-loved. So I thought I'd show you a pre-loved website. This particular one is called theluxurycloset.com and this is the exact same size of the Louis Vuitton agenda cover and it's retailing here for £509. So there's not much of a difference because I think I purchased mine for 575 So it really depends on your personal preference. If you don't mind having an item with a little bit of history, and a few scratches and a little bit of wear and tear to the item, then having something that's pre-loved is a good option. So you don't ever have to worry about the authenticity um, because they have in-house experts that make sure that the items that they've listed on their website are real and authenticated in whichever way they do that, I'm not sure. So for peace of mind, um, it's important to make sure that they have a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and they do offer options for returns if you change your mind. So in essence, it really is quite similar to purchasing a new one. They give you all the rights that you have if you were to go in store. So I did my research with the size. I have a small Louis Vuitton diary that I carry with me all the time and that is more for family and my daily things. And this particular diary, the larger size for me worked because it was going to be for home. The medium diary I didn't want to get only because I thought, again, that's going to be quite similar to my small size. Although it's a little bit bigger, it's still a handbag size and I didn't want anything for my handbag. The best thing about this is that you could personalize this in any which way you like. The inserts can be changed over, the color scheme can be changed. And I guess over time, you can add more or take out anything that you don't overly use. So for me, when I use my um, standard diaries in the past, it hasn't always been a right fit for me because I'm always struggling to add in extra bits or take out bits that I don't want, especially when you get those diaries with all the, the measurements. It's like there's a lot of pages on there that I don't overly use. So here, again, I don't need any of that. I just get my inserts and, and add and delete whichever ones I don't want. I know we're in the digital age. Age where everything is digital but for me I really do struggle to keep up to date with all my digital calendars because I make a conscious decision not to be on my phone for too long so if anything can take me away from my phone I'm happy to do so here having something on paper something to write down pen and pencil and the other thing that I wanted to point out is that if you were thinking of um selling your diary in the future it's best not to get it personalized because once you get personalized it reduces the value of your diary for me um i'm that's not what i'm thinking about but i know some people don't realize that if you start personalizing your items it can bring the value of the item down now i'm going to just show you how i'm going to fill my diary with the basics that i've got from cloth and paper i have another video coming next week um which will go into a little bit more detail about the things that i have so here i'm just going to skim through with the basic stuff that i've got just to fill my diary up so I'm just adding in the actual inbox and the dashboard behind it. So the dashboard is just really to make your agenda look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And I kind of got, um, the next thing is the frosted inbox. I opted for the frosted version only because just to kind of change up the look of the agenda. I didn't want all of it to be clear. I guess the clear ones are more for having something shown behind so that you can see the dashboard. Um, so this is the bare basics for the front. Um, the other thing I got was um, a sleeve that would pop 
in to the front and I didn't really think twice about ordering this because I thought yeah it'll fit my diary because it's got six holes but little did I know that this is for the personal size diary and that's the reason why I was struggling to fit it in but what I'm gonna do because I didn't want to waste it is probably just pop it onto the left hand side and put it in one of the sleeves and all this does is you can either put cards in here or what I've done is popped in the uh, tabs and eventually I'll get a little bit more just to fill it up and keep it on the side of the diary just for easy access. So I have this six hole puncher and oh my goodness, I had to literally Google how to use a six hole hole puncher. It wasn't as simple as just putting your paper in and it will automatically um, punch holes as you want it. So here it gives you the different sizes. It's got personal, it's got mini and the large. So it's useful to have something like this if you're thinking about setting up the agenda in your own way and personalizing it with your own dashboards. So here what I'm trying to do is trying to hole punch these post-it notes so that I could just flip through the pages and pick out the post-it note when and if I want to. managed to finally punch holes <laughs> into these post-it notes. I wanted them at the center of the um, agenda only so that I had easy access. So I've added everything in. I'm just gonna pop in my to-do sheets and then add in a few more tabs from my previous diary, like this, just so that it gives me an idea of how I'm gonna set it up when my order comes through for my um, side tabs. So this is what it looks like with most of my items in there. Still not quite as thick as I thought and all clunky. It closes quite nicely as well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed how I set this up, but I'll be making another video of my final setup. And if you did enjoy my video, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button. It really does help my channel. And here's my Instagram if you wish to follow me. And thank you so much for watching. See you again next week. Bye.